Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, and I'm here today with set number 31040, Desert Racers from LEGO Creator. This is ages 6 to 12, has 65 pieces. In this review, we'll be doing all three of the 3-in-1 builds. We'll go over one model at a time. And this is a 2016 release, which was a little bit early in 2015. This retails for about $6 or $7 in the United States. Here's a closer look at the back of the box to see all the models put together. And it kind of would be a cool idea to have all three of them racing at the same time. So let's open this up. I'll take a quick look at the contents because you never know what you're going to find in here. And as I've done with other 2016 sets up to this point, I'll mention if there are any interesting pieces to look forward to in this set. As far as this one, I can see the donut hole 2x2 round tile. Uh, most of the other ones are pretty standard. I don't see anything that's brand spanking new, but I still like the red for the wheel wells. And of course you get some instructions. This is all in one booklet. So let's build it and review it. So here we have the first of the Desert Racers mini builds. Most of them are intended to be smaller than minifig scale. As you can see, it's not really going to have enough space there to fit a minifigure. Nope, I wasn't even trying because I already knew. And looking around the sides, it actually looks pretty cool for its scale. You even got little details on the sides. I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be, but it still looks pretty good. This might be an area for like an extra tire. This looks like it's some kind of antenna, maybe a radar, you know, for the, for the radio. You even have a little detail on the front where it's a little bumper buildup. You have the overhead lights and even some engine detail. And there's even this nice little area on top. So maybe you could fit a figure in here as if it were like a Lego Dimensions kind of micro build. You could just drive around like that. But it might be uncomfortable because there's already these miniature seats built in there. It's a nice looking model. It rolls pretty easily. You've got an off-road field there driving over the pieces. <laughs> but this is the largest of the builds from what I understand. This is the one this is, you know, shown most on the box, so it's probably the biggest model you can build. Now let's take a look at the other ones. So here we have the second model from the set. It's intended to be the more intermediate build, so it takes less pieces than the first one, but not the least amount of pieces in total compared to the three models. It looks like an off-road vehicle of some sort. Maybe it's a racing vehicle because of the Desert Racers name of the set, but it looks pretty good. I'm not really sure though about this piece in the front if it's intended to be part of the roll cage or if it's actually supposed to be where this person would be sitting, this would be the controls they would have. If it was, then it would be a little too big for the scale and I'd just be better off going with that it fits here. Even though it's a different color, it still looks pretty good. I do like the little style that they add to it and it even has a kind of slanted look and even has the, light, the nice lights on top, a little bit of window in the back, I'm not sure if there's really a purpose for it, except for just filler detail, and a little bit on the back, that does need to be covered up, but overall, not too bad for a vehicle, looks stylish, good use of parts, driving right over all the extra parts, now let's get to the last build. Now we're up to the last model in this set, it's a little smaller than the others, and actually, it does fit a minifigure. So I'll we'll just grab Emmett. He's been sitting around watching me review a bunch of Lego sets, so he's gonna take a little ride on this little vehicle. It's actually pretty good. Although you do have a little space there, you could easily fill it in with one of these other parts, but it looks pretty good. Nice little quad of some sort. Got some brake lights. Even got a little space back here if you wanted to add some accessories or add some of the other parts. And rolls pretty easily, just like the others. In fact, Speaking of horrible segues, you could check out the review for the Hulk with his own little ATV in a separate video. I've done the review for the poly bag with this Hulk. Maybe I'll take even the larger Hulk and give Emmett a little, let's see if I can grab it from the front, because there is a little bar in the front. Maybe it's not quite going, oh, there we go. All right. Breaking time with... No, that's Bricksar's job. He's supposed to break the Lego. 
There's not quite enough room here to fit it on the front. So maybe we'll just take the mini Hulk. And then we could pose it for a picture or something. Where we can have him just flipping Emmett over. But bring him on frame. Flipping Emmett over on this. He looks happy though. I guess he's having a good time with it. Alright. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't you love that little bit at the end? Again, you can check out the review for the Mini Hulk with his own little ATV in a separate video. And we'll see you next time with more LEGO videos. Crunch. Wait. Crunch. There we go. That's better.